www.pcpioneer.com, your number one resource for getting started in the personal training industry as well as becoming a successful personal trainer once you're already there. Uh, today we're going to be talking about personal training insurance. So uh, whether you work for yourself or a club, um, you need to make sure you have this because you don't want a lawsuit on your hands, you don't want to lose your whole entire business due to one uh, uh, accident. Um, and as personal trainers, obviously, you know, in the gym setting, uh, injuries are a thing that happens. It's a byproduct of exercising. And sooner or later, you're going to be working with a client and they're going to have a little tweak of their knee or their ankle or something like that, and they might get injured. No matter how hard you try to be as safe as you can for them, eventually an injury is probably going to happen. You do not want to be held liable for this injury. Um, you know, I, I trust my clients, uh, I, I think that they trust me as well, but you don't want to go off trust, uh, even if you're the best of friends with the client, you don't want to go off trust that if they do get injured, they don't come after you in court and try to, uh, try to have you pay for their, for their medical bills, because it, it has happened plenty of times to people that don't have insurance, so make sure you get covered, and I'm going to go over the different options, and um, the types of insurance that are available for you as a personal trainer so that you can make sure that you're covered. Um, yeah, and, and you know, obviously, you know, most clients sign a liability waiver at the beginning of working with you, but that's just a piece of paper. Don't expect that to hold up in court. Uh, you need to make sure you're insured uh, once again. Um, that I've seen that just get over in before and make sure that you don't just trust this piece of paper to have you 100% covered. Liability insurance is cheap and let's get right into it. So, what if you work at a local, I mean, what if you work at a local or commercial gym such as 24 Hour Fitness? Well, in most cases, if you're working at a commercial gym, uh, that company has insurance for all of their trainers and all of their staff. Um, I've never seen a big corporate gym not have insurance for any of their clients. Usually you're pretty set, so if you're working at a place like that, you can obviously ask, but I'm, I guarantee you the answer is going to be yes, they do have insurance for you already. Um, what about if you're working for a local gymnasium? Like, are you covered or not? And uh, it depends. In most cases, yes, the studio owner will have, just like the corporate gyms, they will have insurance for their staff and for their personal trainers. Um, but is always a good thing. A good thing to ask. You should just be safe. Uh, you should always just ask your, you know, the club owner of the small gym that you're working for if if you're covered. And if you're not, you need to make sure you're going to go out and get personal trainer insurance on your own while you're working there still. Uh, so the types of insurance. Generally, they're broken down into three different ways. They're broken down into general insurance, and that's personal personal training insurance and they have uh, small studio insurance. Uh, it goes up to a certain size of the studio and then they have club insurance, which are like big gyms like 24 Hour Fitness. They get these club insurance uh, rates. And so let's talk about different places you can get liability insurance. There's literally dozens, uh, if not hundreds of places you can get personal training liability insurance. Uh, you could even get them from places like Geico, but <clears throat> what I recommend you do is get personal trainer insurance from the certification that you're accredited by. So if you're accredited by NASM or certified by NASM, I know that they offer personal trainer insurance for their um, people that are certified through them. So if you're certified through ACE, you can check them as well. I know that they have personal trainer insurance. And for, for the most part, from what I've seen is all this personal trainer insurance, the general stuff is pretty much priced the same. Uh, you know, I compared NASM, uh, ACE, ACSM, and NSEA together, and they're relatively the same prices. And I'm pretty sure that if you're already certified through one of these organizations, such as NASM, you can go to them and maybe get a discount for their personal trainer insurance because you're certified through them. Uh, so let's talk about personal trainer insurance cost. Uh, I'm going to give you uh, a breakdown of what NASM's personal training insurance costs. Um, they offer one and they offer two year policies and they have three different packages for each of those. Uh, the, the 
And then, so the two numbers I'm going to give you are the per incident number, and then the second one I'm going to give you is an annual total. So, uh, let's say you only injured one person, you're covered up to as much as that per incident total number is. Uh, and then if you injure like four or five people in the year and they all decide to sue you for some reason, which is very rare, uh, you have an annual total, uh, which is the second number I'm gonna give you. So, <clears throat> uh, the cheapest option through NASM, the per incident of one million and annual total of three million is $172 for that one year. Uh, they also have higher coverages of $2 million uh, per incident and four million annual, and that's two hundred and thirty-two dollars per year. And then just for five dollars more, you can get covered for two million per incident and five million uh, per annual. So that's two hundred and thirty-seven dollars. I think the cheapest option, even if you're running uh, a lot of clients out of your own home or even in a park or even doing small group training, I think the one million per incident, and two million, uh, three million annual is. Uh, sufficient amount of money, you know, obviously, if they get injured, um, it's most likely not going to be, you know, more than a million dollars in surgeries. You're going to have to really mess somebody up in order to do that, uh, and you're a good personal trainer, as I know, so you're not going to be, you're not going to be injuring people that badly. It's probably going to be a little tweak, a little sprain, possibly, at the worst. Uh, it's not going to be that expensive. <clears throat> They also have a two-year discounted price, so that one in three million uh, for two years is three hundred and sixteen. You save twenty-eight dollars. That two and four million for two years is thirty uh, is four twenty-seven. So you save thirty-seven dollars for the two years. Uh, and the last one, the two and five million is four thirty-seven for two years. So you also save thirty-seven dollars on that as well. Um, so yeah, so if you're working uh, for yourself, you know. Personal training insurance is a must. It's not that expensive, you know, with a couple of personal training sessions, a few training sessions, you should be able to pay off that whole year of insurance, no problem. Um, make sure you get in, like people can lie about past injuries and if it flares back up, they could definitely try to blame you for it. I've seen that happen. Uh, don't get caught in that, don't risk your business, uh, don't do any of that stuff. Make sure to get insurance, check out the different prices. Um, check out my website for more information on working for yourself as I'm talking about working for yourself and needing insurance. I have a lot of information on how to start working for yourself as a personal trainer, how to make more money as a personal trainer, how to sell personal training better. If you're just getting started or already in the industry of personal training, this is must check out information. Check out my site PT Pioneer down below and please give me a thumbs up if this video was helpful for you guys. Thanks. For study guides and discount codes on some of the top personal training certifications, head to ptpioneer.com. The link will be in the description down below. I have a step-by-step -step guide on how to become a personal trainer, how to make a lot of money once you are a personal trainer, and much more essential information on getting started as a personal trainer for you guys to check out. Until next time, guys, happy training.